Imagine this. You're floating gently in orbit, peacefully watching the blue marble we call Earth, spinning silently below. But now, imagine something terrifying. The airlock door suddenly swings open. In an instant, the atmosphere around you is ripped away, sucked into the vacuum. The pressure difference is violent. Your body is thrown into the freezing void, nearly minus 270 degrees Celsius. The moisture in your eyes begins to boil. No, you won't explode like in the movies. But make no mistake, you're not surviving this. You'd have less than a minute, because space is profoundly hostile. No air to breathe. No warmth. No shield from cosmic radiation. Even time and light seem to behave differently out here. It's the last place you'd expect life to exist. And yet, something does survive. This isn't a scene from science fiction. Back in 2007, a tiny creature, barely visible under a microscope, was launched into space. No suit, no protection, just raw exposure to vacuum, to solar radiation, to the fury of space itself. And incredibly, it survived. Not only that, when it returned, it reproduced. Its name is the Tardigrade, a creature so tough it borders on the indestructible. And maybe, just maybe, it's holding secrets to humanity's survival among the stars. Here at Astro, we don't just study planets, moons, or comets. We dive into the microscopic world, because sometimes the biggest answers lie in the tiniest forms of life. We explore how living things adapt, how they evolve, and how, against all odds, they survive the impossible. So let's begin at the edge of life itself. Let's uncover the hidden strength within the smallest creature in the universe. If this journey sparked your curiosity and left you wondering what else might survive out there, then make sure to subscribe. There's a universe of mysteries waiting right here on Astro. When you look up at the night sky, it's easy to lose yourself in the beauty. The stars shimmer like distant diamonds scattered across a velvet black canvas. But behind that breathtaking view lies something far more unforgiving. Space, for all its wonder, is a place that resists life. Out here, there's no oxygen to breathe, no pressure to hold your blood together, no magnetic shield to block deadly radiation from the stars. Step into the shadows, and temperatures plunge below minus 270 degrees Celsius but move into sunlight, and they surge by hundreds of degrees in seconds. Then there's the radiation, not the kind you feel, but the kind that tears through your cells, mutating DNA, shattering life at its core. In this environment, a human without protection wouldn't survive more than a few seconds. Your body would collapse, not from pressure, but from the lack of it. But not every creature meets the same fate. There's one life form that seems almost immune. Meet the tardigrade. A tiny, round-bodied micro-animal about half a millimeter long. It kind of looks like a wrinkled jelly bean with legs or maybe a microscopic water bear. At first glance, it's almost cartoonish. But don't let its appearance fool you. This creature is a survival machine. In labs across the world, tardigrades have been boiled, frozen, dehydrated. They've been blasted with gamma rays, even exposed to the vacuum of space. And they just keep going. One of the most astonishing tests happened in 2007. A group of scientists launched tardigrades aboard the Photon M3 satellite. They were exposed directly to outer space. No suit. No shield, no protection from radiation or vacuum. Just raw cosmic violence. The outcome? After 10 days in space, over 60% of them survived. Some even returned and began to reproduce. As if nothing had happened. This wasn't just a fascinating result. It forced scientists to ask a much deeper question. What if survival doesn't always need Earth-like conditions. 
What if adaptability is baked into life itself? And what if that means life could exist far beyond our own world? The tardigrade doesn't just endure. It rewrites what we thought was possible. It's a living paradox. Tiny, yet nearly indestructible. And now, it's time to dive deeper, to uncover what's really happening inside this microscopic body that somehow defies the universe itself. If something can survive in outer space, then surely it must be hiding something extraordinary. But it's not strength. It's not claws. It's not a powerful bite. What makes the tardigrade so special is molecular. This tiny creature doesn't resist the universe with brute force. It survives with biochemistry. When scientists began decoding its DNA, they discovered something strange, something no one had ever seen before, a protein completely unique. They called it DSUP, short for damage suppressor. Sounds like a superhero code name, right? But DSUP is very real, and it might be one of the most remarkable biological defenses ever found. Here's what makes it so incredible. DSUP doesn't repair damage after it happens. It stops the damage before it begins. Normally, radiation rips right through DNA, tearing into the double helix. But in tardigrades, DSUP acts like a shield. It absorbs the impact, or deflects it, like a force field wrapped around their genes. In 2016, researchers at the University of Tokyo tested this. They inserted the DSUP gene into human kidney cells then exposed them to x-rays. The result? DNA damage dropped by nearly 40%. No sci-fi, no miracle. Just evolution. Perfected over millions of years. But DNCUP is only one piece of a much bigger survival system. Tardigrades also make heat shock protein. Tiny molecular bodyguards that protect enzymes, especially when temperatures swing from blazing hot to freezing cold. Think of them as microscopic repair crews, keeping the cell's machinery running, even in chaos. Then there are the antioxidant enzymes. These act like a fire crew racing to neutralize free radicals. The harmful byproducts of radiation, dehydration, or stress. And when things get really bad, like when all the water in their bodies dries up, tardigrades perform a remarkable switch. They replace the water in their cells with a special sugar. It's called trehalose. This sugar locks everything in place, preserving the cell's structure. Like cryo-freezing, but without the ice damage. It's not just survival. It's adaptation at the molecular level. The tardigrade doesn't merely endure the universe. It's built for it. Equipped with a biochemical toolkit, ready for anything. If life were a video game, the tardigrade was born with cheat codes. But that leads us to something even more intriguing. Where did these superpowers come from? And more importantly, could we one day use them to help humans survive beyond Earth? Let's explore that idea right after this. For decades, scientists have been trying to understand how microscopic creatures like tardigrades can survive where most life simply breaks apart. Only recently have we developed the tools to look deep enough, all the way down to the molecular level, to finally see what makes their defenses so extraordinary. At the 2025 Lunar and Planetary Science Conference, researchers Isadora Arantes and Giancarlo Zanata revealed something remarkable. They didn't just describe the DSUP protein in theory. They simulated its behavior atom by atom. They used a powerful platform for molecular dynamics called Gromax. So what does that actually mean? Imagine slowing down time watching every atom inside the DSUP protein vibrate, collide, absorb radiation, and form a shield around a strand of DNA. Every gamma particle, 
Every cosmic ray, tracked in detail, every hydrogen bond, monitored in real time, all to understand how DSUP protects life's most precious code. And the results? They were stunning. DSUP doesn't just block radiation. It reinforces the DNA structure itself, like scaffolding from the inside, holding everything together, even under extreme temperature swings. But the real surprise came later. The model showed DSUP interacting with another protein, HSP70, a heat shock protein already known for stabilizing enzymes during stress. This wasn't just a fluke. It pointed to something much bigger. Padigrees might not just have one superpower. They could have a whole network of defenses, a molecular system working like a mechanical immune system, a system designed to protect life at its most fundamental level. And that's when a bold idea begins to take shape. What if we could model this protein well enough to engineer it into our cells? Some researchers now believe this isn't science fiction anymore. They've already inserted DSUP into human cells in the lab. The result? Less radiation damage. Stronger DNA under stress. But scaling this up to the entire human body? That's a different frontier. One that raises questions about ethics, evolution, and long-term risks. Still, this is the place where biology meets imagination, where a microscopic survivor from Earth might help us endure life on Mars. And if this technology ever goes mainstream, our astronauts might not carry only human DNA. They could carry the legacy of Earth's toughest life forms, blended together into a single spacefaring species, part human, part tardigrade. And that, could change everything. But here's the thing. This isn't just an idea. It's already happening. Right now, these experiments are shaping the future of space exploration. And maybe our own evolution. Throughout human history, technology has been our greatest ally in places where nature said, you don't belong. Clothing helped us survive the cold. Flight allowed us to touch the skies. And now, biotechnology may help us do something even more profound. It could reshape our biology itself. To survive in space, the final frontier. The tardigrade's extreme survival skills have sparked a question that humanity has never truly asked before. If nature has already evolved such efficient survival tools, could we borrow them? Or even more radically, could we integrate them into ourselves? Thanks to CRISPR, a powerful gene editing tool often called molecular scissors, that idea is no longer science fiction. CRISPR allows scientists to do more than insert new genes. It lets them cut, remove, or rewrite DNA with precision. Like editing a sentence, letter by letter. And it's already happening. In recent experiments, human cells equipped with the tardigrade's DSUP gene showed remarkable resistance to X-ray radiation. It's a small step, but a powerful one. A glimpse of a future where biology becomes our shield in space. And it's not just about humans. Imagine a greenhouse on the moon where genetically modified plants resist freezing or survive without water. Picture engineered microbes on Mars, extracting minerals from rock while shrugging off cosmic radiation. Some researchers have even proposed something far more ambitious and controversial, genetically edited embryos, designed not for Earth, but to be born and raised in space. Once that was pure science fiction, but now it's inching closer to reality of course, these possibilities raise serious questions. Not just about what we can do, but what we should do. Because every gene we modify, every change we make, is a step toward a future where biology isn't just a reaction to the environment. It's a tool, engineered for survival. Somewhere between evolution and innovation, a new form of life may emerge. Not limited by Earth's past. 
but designed for the universe ahead. And we're only at the beginning because out there, among the stars, life may already exist, but not as we know it. Not bound by Earth's rules, not shaped by our biology. It may be something stranger, something harder, something born of the cosmos itself. We often look at distant planets and see nothing but lifeless rocks, frozen wastelands, toxic skies, scorching surfaces that seem too hostile to imagine. But if you asked a tardigrade, it might see something different. Because the existence of the tardigrade forces us to rethink what it means to survive. It's not just endurance. It's adaptation pushed so far that it turns the impossible into reality. And that opens the door to a new question. Could something like this exist out there? Not here on Earth, but far beyond it. Could other worlds be home to creatures with similar survival tricks? Let's imagine Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. Beneath its icy crust, scientists believe there's a vast salty ocean, tens of kilometers deep, no sunlight, no breathable air. But down near the ocean floor, there may be heat and minerals and everything life might need. Now, picture Titan, Saturn's largest moon. It's cold, alien, and filled with lakes of liquid methane. But it has a thick atmosphere and maybe enough shelter for something strange and alive. Worlds like these might be hiding their own version of the tardigrade. Not identical, but life built on the same idea. No need for oxygen, no need for sunlight, just a genetic blueprint that knows how to endure. The tardigrade gives us a living model, not of life as we know it, but of life that doesn't care what we expect. Life that's quiet, patient, and incredibly tough and this is where science begins to brush against something deeper. Philosophy, with billions of planets out there, is Earth really the only place where life has ever emerged? Or is it just the only place where life has become aware of itself? The answer might be closer than you think. It might be sitting right now on a patch of moss outside your window, where a tiny tardigrade waits in silence for the rain to return. Or maybe it's hiding beneath Europa's frozen ocean, evolving in the dark beyond our reach. The universe doesn't wait for us to adapt. But maybe, if we learn fast enough, we won't just survive out there. We'll belong. And if you're still wondering whether life exists beyond Earth, just remember this. Sometimes the answer doesn't shout. It endures. A creature that has never spoken but has survived everything the cosmos could throw at it. The tardigrade, a symbol of life, in silence and simplicity, and in near immortality. This is Astro. If you've enjoyed this journey through the resilient edge of life and the strange possibilities of space, consider subscribing for more. We explore the universe from the tiniest cell to the farthest star. And now a question for you. If you had the chance, would you upgrade your DNA with tardigrade genes? If it meant you could survive on Mars? Thanks for watching. Stay curious. And we'll see you in the next one.